So when you're in a lecture, you're receiving the information in a linear format. And so when you're taking notes, you're probably still packaging up that information as a lecture. But really, it's the concepts and packets of knowledge inside those lectures that are what we want to refer to in future. So today, I'm going to go through a simple but efficient way of organizing and taking notes in lectures. And when I say lecture, I mean any environment where you're taking on board knowledge from someone else. So that could be a lecture, a webinar, an online course, anything like that. And at the heart of this method is this idea of consolidating and grabbing those packets of knowledge so that they're easier to find and gather together in future, as is having access and a source trail to any of the different materials that you might have been referring to in addition to your notes. So let me give you a bit of an overview and insight into this method. Here I've got a table with a list of all the lectures that I'm attending, and then I've also been uploading slide decks from those lectures alongside these notes pages. So let's add the fourth lecture in. So this lecture is going to be on competitors, so I'm just going to upload that into my workspace while we type out some title. Okay, so it's now uploaded. So I'm going to open up this page, which I will turn into a text page to be able to add my type notes into it. And so typically I'd be in the lecture and have the slides open next to my notes page. So as the lecturer is going through the material, I can grab bits of info from the slides and then add my notes alongside that in this notes page. And so as we move into the new material, I'm sure the lecturer will be saying some really interesting points. I can grab this bit of information, drag and drop it into my notes, and then add further details from what the speaker is saying alongside it. So I'm just going to take a few more notes here. And as I've been grabbing the info out of the slides and dropping it into this page, you'll see that there's been a citation appearing next to it. And this is a direct link between this notes page and exactly where that piece of info came from in the slide deck. So if I scroll down in this slide deck and then click that button, it will jump me right back to where in the slide deck that info came from, which is useful for a quick navigation back to a source. Okay, so I've added a few more notes there. I'm going to close down this slide deck and now the lecture is over, I'm going to go back through and distill the key concepts that were covered in that lecture. So in this menu, I've set this up so that I can collect the snippets of text and also add a tag or label key concepts to them. As I'm working through the notes, as I come across the concepts, I can highlight the text and then drag and drop them into this key concepts box. And this will save the highlighted text as an atom, that's what we call them on process. And it will also add a key concepts label, which I'll come back to later. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of others, drag and drop them in here to add that key concept label. Positioning analysis one, cool. And so what I've done in some of these highlighted text sections is include that original citation or link back to the slide, as well as the information that I added around it in my notes. And the key concepts have retained those links back. So if I click on that, it will take me back to the exact place in the slides where that piece of info came from. Let me close those menus now. And so when I jump back up to my lectures table, I've got, you know, the names of my notes as well as the accompanying info that I was referring to while I was taking those notes. And so we dragged and dropped those snippets of text into a box and I can display that key concepts box and we'll get a list of all of the yeah, snippets of text and sections that I've distilled out and saved as key concepts from each of the lectures. So I can browse them here. I can also jump into the key concepts page, which is what we were using as that tag or label. And I can set it up as its own page. And then I can display the atoms. Um, atoms is the word we use on ProSolist to describe those snippets of text that you've saved. And as I set it up to automatically add that tag whenever I dropped the text into that key concepts box, everything that I've captured from those lectures should be displaying here. And so if I wanted to create a kind of key concepts cheat sheet and pull everything together in one page that I could then download, I can control click all of the atoms that are here and then I can drag and drop them into the page. And each of those atoms will be added into the page. So I could tidy that up a little bit so that it's in the format that I like. But the useful feature here is that it's also included all of the links back to the slides and other reference material if you added those in, as well as my notes. So if I click on this, it will open up where that got lifted out of those slides. I close this menu. If I click on this, it will take me back to where in my notes I captured that snippet of text from. So what I now have is a list of all of the key concepts from the entire course and lectures that I've been through. There are all cross-referenced and these links make it very easy to quickly navigate around all of the notes and info that you've collected together during your course. So I use this because I find it really effective and efficient 
for me to quickly navigate to all of the sources of different ideas and information. And it's also incredibly useful if I want to pass that on to anybody else because they can see exactly where all those different ideas have come from. And so this workflow is done in Protolus, which is the tool that I'm developing. So if that looks interesting, go give it a try. I also have a Cornell Notes inspired workflow, which shows you how you can start to make use of these links and connections if you're a fan of the Cornell note-taking method. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again soon.